And we're back. How you doing? I'm David Shervey, and these are the boys here. We're reaching the final of the show with the moment that we've been waiting for, Indiana Jones Adventure. What do you say, guys? Should we do it? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. All right. Come on. I was anxious that it would be a very exciting ride, that it'd have the same kind of thrill and excitement that the movies had. It had to feel like the culture in the movie. It had to feel like Indiana Jones. You had to feel like the character trying to get out of scrapes and avoiding the bugs and the snakes. You know, I think it's accomplished that. It's a, it's a very thrilling ride. The Indiana Jones Adventure is the biggest attraction in Disneyland's 40-year history. Although it opened in 1995, the ride was first proposed back in 1987. A lot of the uh, delay was due to the technology. We, we had to develop a lot of new technology in order to make the ride feasible. Of course, feasible just isn't good enough when it comes to Disney. They've made the ride unpredictable. By utilizing state-of-the-art technology, this attraction presents a slightly different adventure every time you ride it. Well, hopefully it means people want to go back on it again and see it more than once, because there are various versions of the ride, which is a new feature of this particular ride. On opening day, there were plenty of would-be explorers eager to climb aboard Indy's Jeep. I think we're going to get ready for a little, uh, uh, a little action, a little adventure. If it's anything like the movies, uh, it's going to be a, a tremendous success, no question about it. I'm kind of apprehensive, actually. Why? Uh, because i got to wear a hat, you know. I want that big ball, you know, to come chasing me down the thing like it did in uh, Indiana Jones, you know. After four decades, Disneyland has become expert at fulfilling the high expectations of its many guests. In fact, Disneyland is second only to the Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World, Florida, when it comes to attracting the most visitors in the country. Disney was a very creative man and a genius, and he has done more for families and for children than any other person that I can think of. It's pretty interesting. My son's four years old. I mean, he hasn't been mass marketed out the wazoo yet, and yet he knows this is the place in the world for kids to come. But let's not forget about the young at heart. After all, it's finally David's turn to board the Indiana Jones adventure. E Channel, get ready for the ride of your life. Indiana Jones coming straight at you. But before we let David go, one final excavation tip. There's a rumor, I guess it's kind of a myth, that every Imagineering team puts some image of Mickey Mouse in their attraction. And I can't say if that's true or not, but if it was true, I would look for it in the mummy chamber. Good luck trying to find it, David. Oh, my God. Oh. I know I'm hosting the rest of this segment, but I know I'm not going to die. recovers from his adventure, we'll have time to crown the winner of our roller coaster endurance test. You'll remember we started the show with three brave gladiators on Batman the Ride at Magic Mountain. But now we're down to two, Hawk and Siren, Siren and Hawk. Who will throw in the towel first? Okay, I've had enough. And the championship goes to Siren. What a ride! <laughs> While Siren takes her solo victory lap, just what she needs, it's time for us to say goodbye back at the Indiana Jones Adventure with David Charvet and a special friend. But, you know, I got one question for you. I really didn't see you on the ride. I mean, you were supposed to be on there, and I didn't see you. No, no, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. I didn't see you. Anyways, we come to the final of the show. We want to thank you for watching me. This is Indiana Jones Adventure in Disneyland. Take care. We'll see you later. What? You want to go back? Another time? Are you sure? Okay, fine, let's do it. Come on. No, thank you, E, for including me on this wonderful adventure! Does the phrase, too bizarre to be contrived, mean anything to you? How about truth is stranger than fiction? A week's worth of near-unbelievable talk show clips, up next on Talk Soup Weekend Edition.